shit feels like. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off there, Joy, can actually take Joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, 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 the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. She's not watching and judging.
wonderful. Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Entirely too Head good. Into the theater and take a seat. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wasteful. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin au courant. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or... I don't know. Watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shine them.
Browning. What would you like to know? If you realise you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, the eyes. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave now? May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. 
not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade, like the one I left left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait, the old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Never mind. Next week, Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me, Sally. Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally, you look fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? <sighs> Oh, I see. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh, but what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny, you don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. <laughs> you won't get
want to make you feel Let's better. <laughs> now, now, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, Ah, uh, secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Just, uh, watching the day go by. Just rest in my feet. Hello there, love. You might want to see a doctor about it. Just want to make you feel better. Last one smiling is a rotten egg. You're soaked. I'm fine. You're not. Your lips are blue and you're shivering. Where's your coat? In the closet. Why didn't you put it on? I don't know. It's been raining all day. Did he not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It 
What? It, it wasn't raining. It was drizzling. Well, now you're going to get sick, and then I'm going to get sick, and then Dad is going to get sick. Hello, I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I can tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at the reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Ladzung. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's gonna get his ass banged. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is this? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep, and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. Alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. Oh 
lovely. I'm famous. does have this place organized. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Aren't they renovating it? I should lie down. What's all that about Bobby Hick and both of them? He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked? Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's hole. Maybe I could borrow it. If I'm right, is right. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely weather. The Reform Club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's home. I have the oddest feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. In among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against the Nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them. Ah, poor guy. And he was having so much fun. Happiness is a choice! Lovely day for it. Very well crafted, I must say. Right. I can take his stuff 
and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? Rest in my feet. Don't mind me, just having a bit of a sit down. Secret message. To Faraday, they must be extremely dangerous. Roger, I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor is going to kill us. She's going to tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. I want you to have this. Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! You've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. speak Latin. Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. 
Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage. And impedimentis, to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin, anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... when you learn ge- When you... I don't want to learn German! You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German! It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. You can take your joy immediately. James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in. What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or peepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right, maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. We're life for noise. Proper joy. Day to discover Mottelaine, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore.
No. Just rest in my feet. Power cells, I could fill them up too. Do you know the general? What you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled? Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes uh, a portal of some kind? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the going in the whole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I've marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. I hope this isn't too loud. Oh, God. I should have said. How have you been all these years? You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again, instead of all those dreadful things. Do I really have to extract three bits? Oh dear. This device at all. So that's where I parked it. <laughs> oh dear. Are they going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But we're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. I don't think I had a terribly keen grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten.
Did you get everything? Brilliant. You got a knack for these things. So rare these days. Everyone expects everything to just work by magic. That's perfect. I just need to make the final adjustments. Tell you what, come back tomorrow and I'll pop out of here through my wormhole and fix your precious bridge. Lovely weather. Just uh, watching the day go by. that? I hope she's all right. Maybe I should go check. Heaven's sake, she's gone! I can't believe she left without help... ...helping me. Well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. Thank <laughs> you. 
snug as a bug on a drug. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the guns. Maybe I shouldn't cross at night. The bobbies will be patrolling and then... I can't believe I went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see Sally. Well, Arthur, maybe you shouldn't have been such an arse. Maybe you should have said, Oh, yes, Sally, do talk to your friend the General for me. What a kind thing to offer. Why does God punish me for all my mistakes and let everyone else run free? can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Simon says, step on one lit platform. says step on two platforms fantastic you did it here's some joy you can never have too much joy can you happiness is a choice Step on three lit platforms. Ha 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 ha! I didn't say Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Uh, uh, uh. 
Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. The bridge to the parade is just one more bridge and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that and I'm finally out of Wellington, Wales.